Okay. I know I'm not here to answer questions, I'm here to drink. God, <laughs> we're in trouble today. <laughs> ah. Wait, wait till your age. I was close now. Eh? I said 1975. He said 73. He said 75. I Let's pretend. <laughs> Stay tuned. Your view will be right back. My son Aiden was actor like me. He's Jim Joyce. A couple of years ago, it was when his acting began. Fall down to my place. Things can play? Yes. Yeah. I take him to audition. For Lovely Brown, as always, I have the ladies with me. Hello, Mariam Lunge. Hi. How are you doing? I'm fine. Published author. How is our book doing? Our book is doing okay. Yeah. I'm pretty excited. It's Thursday. Uh, Inkechi Blessing is in the building. We're yes, excited so to have her. So many just in. Well, first, let's look at the pages of the papers. Stay with us. <laughs> <laughs> let's pretend. <laughs> Stay tuned. Your view will be right back. My son Aiden was a great actor like me. He did great. A couple of years ago, it was when his acting began. Fall down to my place. Yes. Never figure out, figure it out. Now you told them what it is. So that's it. So it makes you people, you Why know. Why do you need 50 though? Yeah. I don't. <laughs> Do you yes, I don't. Oh my her. god. How many I don't. do you use inside? Just one. Okay. Oh, you have a favorite one? Yes, a favorite one. Oh, I was one. wondering, like 50 sides of your body, like what part of your body? Was, what no, else? funniest part is mine don't penetrate. Oh. oh. I don't. I don't use those right. ones. Yeah. Oh, okay. I just oh. use it on, okay. Oh. Okay. on the surface. Okay. So, a lot of young girls out there, let us be real. My now. cheeks <laughs> burning. <laughs> <laughs> young women out there who are your fans. We'll be looking at you and saying, um, if my relationship ever breaks up, you see what Nkechi did to this guy? This is what I'm going to do to my own. Mm. That's one. A lot of them will be looking at you and they ah, ah. When I saw those amount of uh, uh, this is what I need. instruments, I'm like, okay, even if I want to buy, where do I pick from? <laughs> How do I navigate it? And some uh, scientists are beginning to say that it actually reduces the sensation of the woman after long use to other people. And I've had some single friends who are sort of trying to help themselves because there's no help, body, body around. around. But with the fear that when they now finally meet somebody, would they be able to connect? The mm. thing is, that's the, that's the honest truth. And I am not going to be, I'm not, I am mm. going to be very honest. By the time you use these things to an extent, when the opposite gender touches you, you don't feel... Kidding. Mm. Yes, and I'm not even kidding. Wow. Yeah, that's, that's a very big problem. But if you can manage it, maybe once you meet... Somebody you connect with, you, you make you do stop. you you stop it. Like are you dating now? Of course I am. Please. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you heard. Let me know. Okay, you heard what is it? Is it right. is it young... this time around. Okay. It is not because people are people are very they're talking particularly, they say he's a younger man. Uh -huh. Oh you guys have heard already. Yeah, I heard hey, hey, Jesus Jesus Christ. Christ. <laughs> No, I'm drink, not drink, <laughs> drink, 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 I am and I'm actually very young at heart. Like I like that. So, <laughs> so he's a younger man? Yeah, he's how much younger? He's twenty seven. Compared to you? I'm 33. I'm oh, not that old. Yeah, that's, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's fine. Yeah. In the range. Yeah. I mean, it makes me feel like a baby. Hello. Ah. Ah. This is blushing and everything. Oh my, oh my goodness. <laughs> oh wow. I cannot plan to start posting immediately. No, we are friends for now. That's how we just. Oh, friends with benefits. No. The benefits. Bene, bene. What was that? Bene. Benefits now. You have benefits now. Hmm? Ben so, so for, for, for this one, is. Are you intimate? Please finish yeah. my question. Okay. Are you intimate with this 27 year old? I don't know, but we're not, we're not trying to define what we have now. We're just going with the flow. Mm. Because Does right now, it makes me happy. Yes. Something. Like, my vibe matches his vibe, and we're just right. cool like that. So, I just oh. want to ask, because there's so many uh, myths or maybe misconceptions about dating much younger past... Oh, not much younger in your case, but a younger man. People always talk about their maturity level and how it affects the relationship going forward. Are these things that you're afraid you may have to deal with or... Um, don't think like, like or the, you think the younger the better right now i just want to be happy mm. okay so i am actually going with the flow because a lot of people be like oh when did you break up that yeah hello i i was raised with love mm -hmm. february 14th i'm oh. valentina oh, so yeah, really? i have so much love in me i can oh. give out so much love so why not when mm -hmm. i see something that i like 
that that matches my vibe. So I don't know. I'm just going with the flow. I'm not even concerned about breakfast or no breakfast because mm. if it happens, we Let's move. Let's talk about your figure because a lot of young girls they are, are full figured like you, and some of them don't have confidence. You, yeah. you exude a lot of confidence I and love beauty, that about you. and a lot of girls. It's it takes a long time for them, especially when they're plus size. It takes a lot of time to get to where I can speak with confidence. How did you gain your confidence? Is it because you're a celebrity, or how were you able to be yourself, even regardless of your um, your physical appeal? Um, the thing is, I get I get that a lot. A lot of people come into my DM and they're like, ah, Nkechi, I want to be like you. You always, you know, you don't care what people say. You just come out and you're. I'm like, because you have to love yourself first mm. before any other person can love you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's always, it's all about self-love for me. Like, I am so confident in my body because I've got a very nice shape. When it I walk true, past yes. again, it's easier so, for you. There are, a lot of people complain because they feel, they don't feel they look so good. Mm. So they are plus size and they are plus size. They are plus size that, in, you know, you, you, have, you, have, you, have, you see the thing behind me now that I'm looking at. Yeah. So it's easy for you to, Quickly, sort of have that confidence. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I really think it's just really about confidence. Face. She's got a very pretty face, even though she has body. She Talking about her face. People buy her backside right now. People <laughs> oh pay millions God, to buy that yeah. backside right now. So it's easy for you. How do you advise someone who maybe it's not that easy for? They are struggling maybe with stretch marks. You know what? Belly. Let me now shock you. It's not like I have flat tummy. Mm -hmm. I have big belly. Mm -hmm. But I rock it with pride. Mm -hmm. That's it. That's because it. you cannot shame the shameless. Yes. You cannot tell me to not go and do lipo. My enemy will not die mm -hmm. because of big mm -hmm. belly. Mm -hmm. I tell anybody that does not like me and my big belly, but yeah, you should be going. Mm -hmm. Because me, I'm not trying to do so I'm not trying to do nothing to change who I am. I'm gonna do a little bit of exercise if you think it's too big. Well done. You know, but <laughs> I don't think yeah. But yeah. I just know how to package myself. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now when I stand, you don't even I see the big tummy. There was something that you I don't know, I usually don't follow you, but I don't know that came to me at the time. You were talking about people who were getting like maybe chin um, treatments to have a particular chin and you were mentioning that people were used to make fun of how your own chin looks and now Everybody's is the nice. beauty standard to have chin like yours. And so for me, I feel that it's a good opportunity to remind young girls that whatever body it is that you have right now, wear it, as you said, with pride. And one day you will be the standard for other people too. It's not, it's not like I am against all these people that are getting cosmetic surgery because it is their money last last. Mm -hmm. But as for me, yes, now most times, see now, she be on video. Can you see? Mm. Some people be like, oh, you edited your chin. Oh, your chin is so long. Oh, this one, that one. I'm like, I don't have strength doing all of that. Yeah. If there's anything I want to enhance in my life, is my bank account. Thoughts, you know, <laughs> trying to be you want to get money. Money. <laughs> let, me try. Okay, so let me ask you about friendships. Mm. Mm. Um, how, the friends you have, I mean, are you, are you the friendly person I like to have girlfriends? Or, I mean, how is, how, how is your friendship life? And how many friends do you have? And do you guys do the girls hanging out? Or you're just one of those mm. people like, you know what, I don't, I don't do friends. Ha! Huh. Let drink, me drink please. to that. Drink. Drink or drink and respond. There's this Igbo song. Oh, you make me give you what? Oh, you make me give you what? Oh, you make me give you Oh, you make me give you what? Oh, you make That's why. <laughs> me, I don't do friendships, so I beg. Why? Because if, ah, friends. Friends have taught me a lot in this life that I just have, you know, acquaintances. We yeah. just hang out. Maybe when I'm you, bored. You also feel those lessons. Ah, life lessons for real. Yeah. Because it's been a long time. I had this best friend. She's still alive. May God bless her wherever she is. I was her friend. She was not my friend. Mm. You know, when you have a friend who you tell everybody, ah, that's my best friend. Meanwhile, she goes around telling You're not your best friend's best friend. Yeah. That's it. <laughs> so she taught me a lot in life. Mm. I'm like, you know, nothing like best friend, nothing like Kuriko so just like the Yorubas will say. The one that you can't sleep if you don't mm. see. The one that... Mm. So I have a male bestie. Mm. So I'd rather have a male friend than having a female friend. Mm. Because my secret is somehow safe with my male bestie. Mm. than these females because a lot of them they just want to know how you're how doing far? it in life so that they can use that against you wow. as at that time she knew some things about me mm. and instagram was not like this i was not in kitchen of today yeah. if you were to be now if for cast because she was my very close friend mm. she knew everything, everything about me wow. i took her everywhere we did things together and when we had a little issue she went on instagram and wrote and wrote and wrote and tag different blogs, but mm. Nkechi was not in Kichi then. Mm. So nobody yeah. paid attention. Oh, imagine that. Just imagine me wow. now. So since then, I, I created boundaries. You are my friend, I have friends, of course. I have beautiful girls as my friends, a lot of them. Like, my last trip to Dubai, I took two of my friends to Dubai. We, you know, we had fun mm. and all. 
but well, there is a boundaries. limit. I love that you, you use the creating boundaries. Yes, it's you need to create boundaries. For healthy relationships. So that they, we will have to make room for fights. Because in case we fall out, you don't have anything on me. Hmm. So everybody just works hmm. on their own. You might think you know things about me, but me, I heard things a lot. Hmm. I won't tell you 100. I might just tell you 30. Okay. You think, okay, you know everything. So <laughs> are you rich? I'm, I'm just very comfortable. I'm moneyed. I'm moneyed. Yeah. How, is, <laughs> how, are you, how are you making your money? <laughs> a lot of people don't know. I have a side business. I have um, children where I sell children toys, bicycle, and ah, all of that. Yeah, that's, that. that was my mom's business before she passed. Ah, she okay. was the one, you know, in charge. Really? No, I closed down for a while because I needed to wrap my head around. Mm. She's going to be one, she, one year, 22nd of September that she passed. Mm. Wow. So, yeah, so I, Same thing, my mom. Yeah, so I decided to, you know, your mom died in September. In second. Oh, sorry. We, are you an orphan? And my daddy yeah, has yeah, yes, yes, yes. Ah, no. offer. <laughs> Share <laughs> story offers. <laughs> so, <laughs> okay. I mean, so, you know, I mean, um, one of the things that I always like to ask people like you is, you know, that thing that moves you. Because you get you a very controversial person. And I, I like to know what's that inner thing? What's that thing? When you wake up in the morning, you feel like, you know what? I, this is what drives me. This is what mm. makes me. This is what makes me who I am. Because I don't like to judge people based on what the social media says. Mm. Because I've met you in the next, last few, uh, one hour or so, and I feel she's so different from what I see on television. I'm, I'm positive positive vibes. Vibes. <laughs> like, she's so, like, positive vibe. You know when somebody comes, when you have that get to the energy? Yeah, you see. You know, you have that get to It's not a positive vibe. So, do you, do you wear <coughs> all that mask of Nkechi blessing, or is that who you really are? That's not me. Because, uh, <clears throat> the thing is, you know, if I, I, I grew up, I, I, I decided to have a thick skin. Mm. Because if you allow these people to know the real you, they are going to really trample on you. Mm. They want you to come out on social media crying after they say smart thing that will trigger you. Yeah, if you trigger me, I'll give it to you back to back. <laughs> but if you meet me in real life, I'm just going to be like this. You know, that's not oh. me. That is how the society just wants me to look. And a lot of, you know, bad publicities from blogs that do not like me. And I'm not even trying to tell you that is not who I am. You know what? Just go with the flow. And then when you meet me one-on-one, -on -one, you choose Instagram or real life. Mm. But my personality mm. real life is sweet. <laughs> I'm not yeah. even going to say it. You, are, you, are going to, you said it yourself. And that is what I want people to know. Mm. So you keep judging me from what you hear, what, what you hear from the blogs mm. or what you see. But that's not me. Mm. That's MDS. This is in <laughs> mm. Because I said something. I posted something on my Insta story that as long as God sees me, as long... What you, see, what you see me for mm. is not what God sees me at, mm. as. Then one person said, how do you mean? You don't know my relationship with God. Mm -hmm. You don't know how I communicate with God. You only see what a stupid blog who is looking for traffic says That's about traffic. me, and then you go with the flow. Mm. That's fine. Mm. Yeah. You know, people who are really confident like you and put themselves out, um, I wonder if there are things that you have done, and maybe you have looked back and think, I regret this. Or things that you say, okay, I have learned from this and going forward, I'm not doing this way. If there's anything I regret in life, is being a public figure. It's yeah. hard. Mm. Yes, I swear <clears throat> to God, it's hard. And though, even though I try to manage it, I try to still live my normal life mm. aside from being a public figure. I don't try to, uh, when I'm going out, I wear dark shades so that people don't see me. Mm -mm. You, they will see you. Damn, if you like where. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You get, if there's anything I will just go back in time and change is. Being, being a public, a public figure. Yeah. I just yeah. want my space. Yeah. Wow. Mm, your I just privacy. Want, I just That's want interesting. To... Yeah. So what, aside from this um, acting that you're doing, what other interests do you have? What other things are you looking at doing maybe in the near future and Ketchu will now become somebody else? Or I'm, actually, I'm, all, I'm actually doing Direct. business. I'm into real estate. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Omolo Abi Homes, I partner with. We ah, have so many here in Abel Kuta. Nice. Okay. And aside that, when I open my business back, I'm going back into my business because I hardly even do movies. For the past two years, I don't remember, I, but I just work. produced one in um, April. That's Mata Omolua. It should be coming out soon. I don't know where. Mm. I am not even, I don't tire because our job is stressful. Yeah. You see a lot of people walking, 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 walking. They are not even taking care of themselves. Mm. You just want to put all your yeah. energy into work. How so. many tattoos do you have? Two. This and this. Just two. Doesn't yes. mean anything. Yeah, this one, I try, Basta. Let me open it. You want I to see? I thought you had like more than two. No, I don't. Mm, I was shocked. I don't. I don't. See just that this just one two. and this one. Oh, That's nice. Wow. Thank wow. you. Good. I mean, when you, when, you, when you told me that you were not interested in doing your makeup, you just wanted to just come on set, I'm thinking, that's, most, that's fresh. Yeah. Yeah. That's new. Most I mean, people, like I, don't, that. I don't like makeup all that. Neither do I. Neither do we. I'm not telling you. you. Have you have only when I'm going for, like, events, <laughs> parties, and all of that. Since it's early morning, time, you put makeup on. Ah. 
Nice. So, what's up? As a movie, what movie are you working? Let us tell. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to be yeah. doing um, two Yoruba movies by the next of by the end of um, October. Yeah, I'll just do two to wrap up the year, and then I am working on the project. When I leave here, now I'm going to set. I'm okay. Going to Aja. Okay. Yeah, so. Do you really make okay, money so, from these movies? Yes, I have started making money from English movies, but not like when I was doing Yoruba movies. Now this is the problem because that's why they call me. I talk too much. You got. <laughs> Tell us, tell us. This was... <laughs> don't let me talk. I'm going to mess it. Okay, now, you know, <clears throat> a lot of people say there are no, there's no money in moving. There's, there's a lot of money where you decide to channel your energy. Mm. Like, the last movie I did in Asaba, I did three movies. And those three movies were 1.5 million naira, 500,000 naira a movie. Mm. Now, yes, that's how much they pay in Asaba. I see people mm. say, eh, when Asaba actress buys house, buys car, they'll be like, is it not just Asaba movie? Hello? Those people are cashing out in the East. Mm. Seriously. When I'm going back to the East now, okay, like four producers already asked me, when am I coming back? Three, three, three from each movie. Now, one, one, nine, nine, they turn to one million. Yes, mm. now. You get You've it. Got it. Mm. That's how, that has been my life. If I want to buy a car now, I have to save towards it. Mm. I not get Godfather one place. I not get Sugar Daddy anywhere. So the third couple of what I get, I'll gather it together. Do you want to get? I want to. I don't <laughs> mind. Anyway, we have a few. It friends. doesn't matter. Ah, ah, okay. Okay. I don't want to get it. Okay. Okay. Please, I want to be sure my question is answered. Are you telling me that you can do multiple at a time? Multiple what? Multiple men. You can date multiple men at a time. Eh? Okay. So we pay, Ellie. Are you saying <laughs> that you, you have the capacity to date multiple men at a time? I'm saying eh? <laughs> she's not, she's made no comment. No, what I'm saying is, I just told you I have a relationship yeah. that is... An open relationship yeah. for now. Ah. Not like so he goes out, you go out. Go no, out. don't go out. Ah. Hey! <laughs> I feel not receive this video from my phone. No, <laughs> no. no. Okay. But Abba, this destiny helper that we used to talk about, God did not come that happy now. Yeah. Somebody might be watching me and I'm like, oh my god, I like how she talks. Yes. Okay, let me help her. Let me mm. help her. My help her. Oh. Okay, we have my a few comments here, and I think it's just good so that you will, okay. you know, respond to it. Some people are saying that for them, they felt that it was quite childish to talk about your relationship on social media and that's one of the things i wanted to know like, is this something you regret doing or yeah. going for and then someone says that you were they're not sure about being a mother or not being a mother because now you have confirmed or, uh, or confirmed that you were not married so could you tell your fans uh, my, my son is three my relationship is one so it's not even okay. under one year but it's not mm -hmm. Then me coming, like I used to say, when um, Annie and Two Face had their issues, I remember writing something that, who swear for people, made they always they bring out their issues for. That was something I regretted doing, mm. and I tried to, I tried to, you know, avoid such situation. Mm -hmm. Now I wanted to say something before I was cut short. If you, you asked about if we've tried sorting out stuff behind mm -hmm. scenes, you know, I missed all these issues. This man never spoke to me outside social media. Wow. Yes. He never even reached out on maybe WhatsApp or anywhere. Then the next thing I saw was him saying, nobody should call me Kechi's husband, though. Relationship is over. Uh -uh. Mm. Till today. Till today. Then when he came out to apologize and I said, apology accepted, access denied. He came back again with the second one. On social media he still, still did not come. Mm. Look for me. He has means to reach me. Yeah. He still did not. <clears throat> so basically, all this... We talk, I'm going to mess it. Yeah. Okay, now, you know... <clears throat> A lot of people say there are no, there's no money in moving. There's, there's a lot of money where you decide to channel your energy. Mm. Like the last movie I did in Asaba, I did three movies. And those three movies were 1.5 million naira, 500,000 naira a movie. Mm. Now, yes, that's how much they pay in Asaba. I see people say, eh, when Asaba actress buys house, buys car, they'll be like, is it not just Asaba movie? Hello? Those people are cashing out in the East. Mm. Seriously. When I'm going back to the East now, okay, like four producers already asked me, when am I coming back? Three, three, three from each movie. Now, one, one, nine, nine, they turn to one million. Yes, mm. now. You get You've it. Got yes. it. Mm. That's how, that has been my life. If I want to buy a car now, I have to save towards it. Mm. I not get Godfather one place. I not get Sugar Daddy anywhere. So, the third couple of what I get, I'll gather it together. Do you want to get? I want to. I don't <laughs> mind. Anyway, we you. have a few. It friends. doesn't matter. Ah, ah, I can do more. You can't tell me. Please, I am very, I very sure my question. Let's hey. want to be sure my question is answered. Are you telling me? That you can do multiple at a time. Multiple what? Multiple men. You can date multiple men at a time. Eh? 
So we pay. Ellie, are you saying <laughs> that you, you have the capacity to date multiple men at a time? I'm saying eh? <laughs> She's not as she's made no comment. No, what I'm saying is, I just told you I have a relationship yes. that is an open relationship yeah. for now. Ah. Not like, so he goes out, you go out. Go no, out. don't go out. Ah, hey! <laughs> I feel not receive this video from my phone. No, no. no. Okay. But Abba, this destiny helper that we used to talk about, God did not come down happy now. Yeah. Somebody might be watching me and I'm like, oh my God, I like how she talks. Yeah. Okay, let me help her. Let me mm. help her. My help her. Okay, we have my a new comment here and I think it's just good so that you, okay. you know, respond to it. Get you will now become somebody else. Or I'm, actually, I'm, all, I'm actually doing Direct. business. I'm into real estate. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Omolo Abi Homes, I partner with. We ah, have so many here in Abel Kuta. Nice. Okay. And aside that, when I open my business back, I'm going back into my business because I hardly even do movies. What do you want? Mm. You keep judging me from what you hear, what, what you hear from the blogs mm. or what you see, but that's not me. Mm. That's MDS. This is in <laughs> Kechi. Mm. Because I said something, I posted something on my Insta story that as long as God sees me, as long. What you see, what you see me for mm. is not what God sees me at, mm. as. Then one person said, "How do you mean? You don't know where to go. Put them you in. keep judging me from what you hear, what, what you hear from the blogs mm. or what you see, but that's not me. Mm. That's MDS. This is in <laughs> Kechi. Mm. Because I said something, I posted something on my Insta story that, as long as God sees me, as long what you see, what you see me mm. for is not what God sees me at, mm. as. Then one person said, "How do you mean? You don't know my relationship with God." Mm. You don't know how I communicate with God. You only see what a stupid blog who is looking for traffic says okay. about me, and then you go with the flow. Mm. That's fine. Mm. Yeah. You know, people who are really confident like you and put themselves out, um, I wonder if there are things that you have done, and maybe you have looked back and think, I regret this, or things that you say, okay, I have learned from this, and going forward, I'm not doing this way. If there's anything I regret in life, is being a public figure. It's yeah. hard. Mm. Yes, I swear to God, it's hard. And though, even though I try to manage it, I try to still live my normal life, mm. aside from being a public figure. I don't try to, uh, when I'm going out, I wear dark shades so that people will not see me. Mm -mm. You, they will see you. Damn, if you like wear. <laughs> <laughs> you get, if there's anything, I will just go back in time and change is being, being a public, a public figure. figure. Yeah. I just yeah. want my space. Yeah. Wow. Mm, I, just want, I just That's want interesting. to. Yeah. So what, aside from this um, acting that you're doing, what other interests, do you have? What other things are you looking at doing maybe in the near future and Ketchu will now become somebody else? Or I'm, actually, I'm, I'm actually doing Direct. business. I'm into real estate. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Omolo Abi Homes, I partner with. We ah, have so many here in Abel Kuta. Okay. okay. And aside that, when I open my business back, I'm going back into my business because I hardly even do movies. For the past two years, I don't remember. I, I just work. produced one in um, April. That's Mata Omolo Abi. should be coming out soon. I don't know where. Mm. I am not even, I don't tire because our job is stressful. Yeah. You see a lot of people walking, 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 walking. They are not even taking care of themselves. Mm. You just want to put all your energy into work. How so. many tattoos do you have? Two. This and this. Just two. Does yes. it mean anything? Yeah, this one, a try basta. Let me open it. You want I to see? I thought you have like more than two. No, I don't. Mm. I was shocked. Let I don't. See that just this just one two. and this one. Oh, That's nice. Wow. Thank wow. you. Good. Wow. I mean, when, you, when, you, when they told me that you were not interested in doing your makeup, you just wanted to just come on set, I'm thinking... That's most expression. Yeah. Expression. That's me. Most I mean, people. Like I, don't, I don't like makeup all that. Neither do I. Neither do we. I'm not telling you. Only when I'm going for like events, parties, and all of that. Since it's early morning time, putting makeup on. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
mm. I not get Godfather one place. I not get sugar daddy anywhere. So the third cup of white gets, I'll gather it together. Do you want to get? I want to. I don't mind. <laughs> anyway, we have a few. It doesn't matter. Ah, ah, I mean, I don't you can't. Okay. You can't. Okay. 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 No, no, please. Okay. I am very, I very sure my question. question. Listen, hey. I want to be sure my question is answered. Are you telling me that you can do multiple at a time? Multiple what? Multiple men. You can date multiple men at a time. Eh? So we pay. Ellie, are you saying yes, that you, you have the capacity to date multiple men at the time? I'm saying it. She's not as she's made no comment. No, what I'm saying is, I just told you I have a relationship yes. that is an open relationship yeah. for now. Ah. Not like, so he goes out, you go he out. Go no, out. don't go out. Ah. Hey! <laughs> I feel not want to see this video for my phone. No, <laughs> no. no. Okay. But Abba, this destiny helper that we used to talk about, God did not come down happy now. Yeah. Somebody might be watching me and I'm like, oh my God, I like how she talks. Yes. Okay, let me help her. Let me mm. help her. My help her. Oh, okay, we have a few comments here. And I think it's just good so that you, okay. you know, respond to it. Some people are saying that for them, they felt that it was quite childish to talk about your relationship on social media and that's one of the things i wanted to know like, is this something you regret doing or yeah. going for and then someone says that you were they're not sure about being a mother or not being a mother because now you have confirmed or, uh, or confirmed that you were not married so could you tell your fans uh, my, my son is three my relationship is one so it's not even okay. it's not the one yeah. but it's not mm -hmm. then me coming like i used to say when um annie and two face had their issues i remember writing something that who swear for people, maybe they always they bring out their issues for. That was something I regretted doing. Mm. And I tried to, I tried to, you know, avoid such situation. Mm -hmm. Now, I wanted to say something before I was cut short. If you, you asked about if we've tried sorting out stuff. Behind scenes. Do you know, I missed all these issues. This man never spoke to me outside social media. Wow. Yes. He never even reached out on maybe WhatsApp or anywhere. Then the next thing I saw was him. Saying nobody should call me Kechi's husband, though relationship is over. Uh -uh. Mm. Till today, till today. Then when he came out to apologize, and I said, Apology accepted, access denied. He came back again with the second one. On social media, he still, still. did not come. Mm. Look for means, he has means to reach me. Yeah. He still did not. <clears throat> so basically, all his life is based on social media. I'm sure he's enjoying the attention. So, was that the reason? Do you think it was the reason he, he came got, for you? He, a lot of people kept saying, even though he said that it was not, but to mm. me, at some point, I started thinking it was because of, okay, in Kechi. Right. Then I sat down and I told myself the truth. What people don't do to themselves these days is telling themselves the truth. Yeah. I said, okay, God forbid, God forbid, what if in Kechi is no longer the in Kechi of today? So, marriage go end. Mm. So that was why I, I have to left. stop it there. Thank you so much, in Kechi. It was a pleasure, pleasure yes. having you on we the like show. You. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back. Ladies and gentlemen, make welcome the one who can make time stand still forever, Mr. Kelechi Amadi. <laughs> <laughs> How are you doing, sir? I'm good. I'm good, my brother. You love that intro, have you? Yeah. It was great. Okay, yeah. Thank we, you. We, we, thank we try you. like that. Thank you. Thank you. Now my question, which I feel is a cheap question. Oh, go ahead. What does ISO stand for? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Hmm. That is it. I think I'll drink. <laughs> no, you're joking. I'm not joking. <laughs> Clear your mother. No. <laughs> she, you didn't want me. me. You want me no. I think I'll drink. Huh? <laughs> no problem. Okay. <laughs> I've always known this as ISO. I never bothered to know what it means. I know what it means, but I never really bothered to know what the acronym means. Tell me the. The, the brand of camera that I use so much so that you know, I even became an ambassador. That is, that's very easy. You know. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, it's, out there. it's supposed to be. Yeah. I just said, let me I give you this one as a token of my appreciation. <laughs> Sony. Drink. No, 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 I'm not there. I'm not there. <laughs> I'm not there, I'm not there, I'm not there. You did not say final answer. It's final answer. You did not, you did not ask me if that was my final answer. You don't answer. have any choice again. It's only you. Yeah. Michael. How many, how many cameras do they have? Michael. I went to drink. I gave you a very easy something. Michael now.
This is 7 of 7. My name is OJ and signing a severity into my hands tonight on the social experiments called the 7 of 7 is Owen G. What is the name? Or what was the name? You see, I don't I won't make them better now. Rock Heart. No, of That's the of the goat. When they brought it on stage. The what? name of that goat. Yeah. We should, ah. go, we should go there. No, no, that one, that one easy now. Uh -huh. I'm just drinking this so that I can ask him my own questions. It's not because of Buga. He didn't get it. <laughs> you know, even you know. Okay. <laughs> Mention ten female stand-up comedians in Nigeria. See, just mention their stage name. If you annoy me, you will mention their real names and the year they started. And if you annoy me further, you mention the names of their husbands and the names of their children. Try me now. Oh. Okay, mention their name. No, no, let's, name. Name. let's just... Mm. Uh, no, wait. Mm. No, tongue, no. Even name, the... real name, stage name, husband name, children name. Ten even, of them. Even the ten. That's a lot. Eh? That's a lot. Did I cut your question for you? Yes. When you were happy now, now. With your hands back. You are wasting time. We don't have time. See, my brother, hmm? before we go on a commercial break, yeah, you are stubborn. And I told you since. The fact that you play this your hair does not mean. You understand? See this bad hair you are looking at. It's experience. I've suffered before you. By China. When you there during the military, I'd rather have a bachelor and a babang. You know what happened? I'd be Gen Z. <laughs> so that I Gen Z, I, call for I will move four out of ten. That's like. Four out of ten they pass it. Come do this thing. Where booby you are on here. Look out! If I land you. When I decided to go into this, when I decided to give it more attention, my parents didn't know. So, because I needed to prove something. I wasn't necessarily doing it for the money mm -hmm. initially. I was doing it because I could see that what I was doing was actually solving a much needed problem. Mm -hmm. I just did not know how to approach it professionally. So I was basically just telling stories. But with, it's, you, you know how we used to grow up and they would put paracetamol inside a bar mm. and then wrap it. <laughs> so it was the Ebba does the story and mm. then the actual message is inside. Mm. And it was hard initially because fellow doctors mm. were saying I was wasting my time. You know, if you, if you were on Twitter, then you, that, that was, you know, you're wasting I'm your sorry. time. You are, you're, you're just a social media person. Mm. I can't believe somebody who is a doctor is, mm. you know, wasting time yeah, just yes. tweeting. Mm -hmm. But there really is an entire group of people that are unreached. Mm -hmm. They have no idea. Mm -hmm. They're looking for yeah. someone to trust, mm -hmm. that they can listen to. And one of the reasons why, you know, this seems to work is because I don't... You hardly see me in any video wearing a tie, with a lab <laughs> coat and mm. all that. I come off as... Your guy, guy. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> yeah. That's the person Regular. you can talk to. Mm. Right? Can trust. Yes, that's the person you can trust. You know what you're doing? What you're doing is, I find that many people, they would rather call a friend as a doctor to sort their issues out than go to the hospital. Because the moment you enter that hospital, your problem is bigger than it is. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, oh my God, they are going to, first of all, take me through um, the first yes. test and then. <laughs> Tell me something because if I can call my guy that is the doctor, he'll be like, Oh, don't worry, it's just malaria, something, or you know, or, or tell you yeah. to go and see a doctor if you have tried it, you know, if, for a few days. So I like that you do that. And my question is there's this program, it's American, it's called The Doctors. And I've always wondered if we could replicate it here in Nigeria and if people would, would you know, would find right. it as interesting as a lot of people. But I think your way is much more, um, will be better for us than that because your way is indigenous to us. that yes. is how we like to hear our stories yes. that's way so you're doing amazing and people are 
are learning a different way now. So the doctors that are in the hospitals, they know now, all of us were on Google now, so when we go to visit a doctor, if he says we have this, we say yes, because I saw the symptoms of, <laughs> you know, I had one doctor ask me, please, are you a nurse? I said, no, I'm just a Google doctor. But, you know, so I just want to say, um, having done this, does this mean that your real doctor practice is on hold? Or mm, this is just... That was another mm -hmm. very good question. So, um, I still practice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How do you find time to? Mm -hmm. Um, so I've moved into telemedicine now. Oh, okay. So okay. reaching out to patients online, okay. and sometimes I have private patients that you know okay. that I go to visit. But what I'm trying to focus in currently is on public health. Okay. And we, we Nigerians still assume that people who study public health are not real doctors. If you're not mm. in a hospital, you're not mm. a doctor at all. <laughs> but <laughs> you get your vaccines because they are public, public health, health professionals, yeah. right? So. That is another aspect, and also trying to fuse the world of media and medicine together. You know, things like MCV Sugar. Yes. Talked a lot about sexual health and reproduction. Yes, and it was done as, a, and it was done as a, an everyday yes. thing. Yes. So that's what we are trying to replicate to be able mm. to reach a lot more people. Amazing job you're doing. But I know that for you to be effective in this apropos you are doing. You must have been a gossip as a child. You are the yes. one that used to report. Don't choke. Calm down. You are the one that used to report to the parents what everybody is doing in the house. So you are going to tell us a bit of that story. But how are you able to navigate your massive followers? Uh, are those followers just about, you know, enriching? Or do you, in the midst of your followers, still have people who are constantly antagonizing what you do? Yes. So, um... Trolls. I love conversations. I love when I'm challenged. I love when the challenge comes with knowledge because that's the way I was trained. If mm. you tell me what I said is wrong, tell me why, why? it's wrong. Mm. Don't just tell me you're wasting your time. You're this, you're that. If you come off insulting, I assume you don't have any knowledge. And I have zero tolerance to trolls. So you block. Immediately. See, my peace of mind. Mm. <laughs> Immediately. <laughs> I block. I keep it moving. Mm. Right? But there are people who have had conversations. And in the process of conversing with those people, I get a perspective that I was not seeing before. Mm. Mm. So you're open. So I'm able to learn from their own experience. You're open and to it helps me. Arguments. Superior arguments, personal experiences. Mm. Because it helps me, okay, probably the next time I'm doing this, Maybe I need to put in that, that sect of people mm. together. Uh, it, were you gossiping when you were? Yeah, was I gossiping as a child? I was the firstborn, okay. so naturally, now we they always, you know, mm. tell mom see what's in the happen. But I think in person, I'm, I'm actually a quiet, reserved person. I'm the person who would, would you invite to a party and I'll just sit in one corner and with, watch everybody. With your cup. Cup is not that one. I watch everybody. It's the red cup. Not the red cup. Not the red cup. <laughs> <Not the record. laughs> And then go and mimic each and every person. So that quiet person who's watching everybody knows how this one drinks, how this one eats, yeah. how this true, one speaks. True, true, and then true. this just explains the grandpa look, young boy look, and all of that. I really love all the personalities. But my, my concern is, come, is it about the money? Because now it seems to me medicine is also very lucrative than media and then social media. And now you're endorsed. Because I heard that one on Jingle the Voice. <laughs> I said, ah, this guy has gotten this one. So, you're maximizing every, every area. Mm. How lucrative and, you know, has it become? Has it been? Mm. If, it were, if it were for the money, mm. I would be in the UK right now. Did you see that was my next question? And in pounds, then. You want to threaten us? Just give you a fact. You can sell the suffer inflation. But still, I can be. I can be sending the money down here so that we be building like one or two houses. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, so initially it was not for the money. Mm -hmm. Now, even right now with the massive number of followers, you know, millions of people everywhere, it's still not about the money. Because if it were about the money, I would be endorsing every and anything. Mm -hmm. Ah, yes, <laughs> yes. I've had endorsement I've had to turn down mm -hmm. from best companies. Mm. I'm even saying it on live TV. I would so never. Let's be honest. <laughs> <laughs> I would never accept an endorsement Thank you. from, Thank you. and it's personal. Mm. Right? Principles. If you do not have a product that actively helps the life of the consumers, mm. whether or not you're making you. money from it, I would not endorse you. Thank you. I follow you. So I follow you for life. For this one, you know, I told you. I'll just determine whether I'm following you. <laughs> <laughs> so, follow, follow, follow. Right. so uh, my question is. Um, 
our young people. So you talk a lot about sexual health, and that's important. But there's this thing that is just a scourge right now, and that is drug abuse, mm. drug use and drug abuse. Mm. I just need, I hope eventually there will be a partnership between you and NDLA. But could we see more of your opinions on this substance because a lot of people who are doing it it really comes from a place of wanting to be glamorous wanting to be in and cool and i feel they would listen to someone like you who's just like them and cool and everything hip and cool too. is this something you're looking to or is this one of those extended topics you'd rather deal with no we we would um so aside from just me sitting in front of the camera mm -hmm. another type of content we try to push out are short skits mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know acting Mm. and all that. I think that's, that's, that's where I try to display some of my acting skills. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, acting and because these young people also watch other people who are content creators mm -hmm. on social media. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then they see them glamorizing drugs. Yes, yeah. yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, mm -hmm. if, it's, if, if someone is not telling you you know, how much this particular blue is making their mind, you, you, could, you see it all the time. Yeah. And so, for us to be able to counter that, it has to be deliberate, it has to be sustained. Yes. yes. Right? Mm -hmm. And health is general. Mm -hmm. So from time to time, we talk about it. Yeah, I know. But for some reason, when you talk about it, some people feel you're attacking them. Mm. Yeah. It's so, very personal. Yeah, so we, we get that kind of pushback a bit. But it's not. But we understand what we're doing, and then, you know, we look for another way to make the... The Ebba sweets, so that the drug would, you know, go in there. Mm -hmm. So before Elo Elo Zonam started to feature with you, would hear in Kechif Illumina. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Those names, your friends. <laughs> Why are these not people? In <laughs> uh, who are these names? Who are these people? And Oak is not one of your friends. Who's unfortunate to be <laughs> your your character? <laughs> who are these people? So um, funny enough, in Kechi Emeka. Actually, people I know every day. <laughs> like, well, so, so they see me yeah. and they're like, you don't know whether to be angry or mad. Or <laughs> <laughs> that their name has blown. <laughs> you know, um, Pius and Philomena, you know, completely made up people. But uh, for people who ask me, sometimes I tell them, ah, in case you broke my heart, make us stole her from me. Yeah. Pius was the person that orchestrated the whole thing. Yeah. You know, yeah. and, but these are people that, they are everyday people. Mm -hmm. People have come to accept those names. Mm. It's if I don't mention in Kitchen now in a video, somebody will say, Why didn't you mm. talk Why about the yes, Kitchen? Kitchen, 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 Kitchen. But these are still part of the uh, you know ways we try to make healthy. But drink. because of the way you put these names out, uh, your new friends are afraid to tell you stuff because they're afraid that you may use their names <laughs> to no. make an example <laughs> of one of your skits. No, so before before I'm a content creator, mm -hmm. I'm a doctor, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And um Certain things are sacred. Good. Confidential. Uh, I am, I am, I'm not the person who would use your condition mm -hmm. for clout. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But if your condition can help another person, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I try as much as I can to protect you. you. While sharing the story. While sharing the story. So Very we can important. still share the story, but that person is still protected. Let, let, let me ask you about production. People, somebody will see you now. And because I deal with a lot of young people, they would see you now and they want to do you now. Immediately. Mm -hmm. Can you tell us how you started shooting? You know, what was the kind of phone you were using? Like, I want you to break it down. I like what was the phone sponsoring. you were using? What phone did you use when you started switching? How was the you setup when you started? And how has, how, how has that journey been growing? So, um, I was working three jobs hmm. in Lagos. No. I was working in Ianisolo. I was working in Festac. And I was working in VI. Wow. At the hmm. same time. So, eight to four, Ianisolo. Hmm. Four to eight, first stack, weekends, VI. I had a phone I was using then, right? And I would set up the phone whenever I could find time mm. in my office and talk health education. I can't, see, I can't look for those videos because I think I was too ashamed to share them, but I would look for them because I think my wife has them. I would look for them and share them. And there were a few lessons I learned from that video. Was that I was trying wait, to... Wait, rewind. Yeah, no, no, wait. Yes, oh, yes, I am. We held out that. Oh, that. oh we got it. It's my heart. Let's <laughs> continue. Let's finish. It, finish. it is. Okay. Yeah, so um, I, would, I would share... So, yeah. So, I would, I would try... I was mimicking the white man. Mm. So, I would mm. sit down in front of my office. And I'm like, today I want to talk to you about... I want to talk to you about 
polycystic ovarian syndrome. You see, polycystic ovarian syndrome. And nobody was paying attention. <laughs> Mm, I told you, 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 I attention because the bulk of the people mm -hmm. who were, who the content was supposed to be for, mm -hmm. do not speak like that. They're indigenous mm -hmm. people. And I Can't think that's... here like that. Who yeah. And, <laughs> and I think that that's one of the reasons a lot of content creators face because they try to, quote Is unquote, appeal to the international audience. Mm -hmm. But you're not creating content for them. Mm -hmm. Creating content for Nigerians. It's amazing. Yeah. The people I'm, who are I'm going to in. stop you there. We're, different. We're going to still continue this conversation. Let's take a quick break. Let me, I want you to take that in. You want to take a break? Yes, we'll take a break. When we come back, we'll dig further into this being owning your story and being indigenous, being true to who you are. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back. Try Just Aid. My recommendation for the past 26 years. Just Aid. Reliable. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome showstopper, voice stage and film actor, CEO and celebrity mom, Olua Bamike Olawumi Adenibunyo, aka Two Shots in the Air, Bam Bam! <laughs> This is me, and I feel set up today. My guards are down. It's not fair. Guys, beg for me now. I'm hearing them okay. saying, please. please no, I hear Can't you hear it? No, they are saying you actually drink, 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 drink. Wait, me, what's this show? Oh, more history, me. Drink it now. You must even up the game. Mama she's oh man for me. No! No. Come closer. A little bit more. Perfect. I have exciting news for you. You asked for it and you got it. Your favorite breakfast show, Your View, will be going to two hours. We're going to have in-depth analysis of the newspaper review and more conversations on the hot topics. The ladies of Your View and I will be staring up our guests to get in-depth into all the various topics. And you, our viewers, will have the opportunity to call in and share your views. After all, it's Your View. Join us on Your View, 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. for a fantastic conversation. Don't miss it. Mm. Because new Genomax chicken flavor get herbs of nature and taste boosters. Your food now, oh yato, adu nigao. Me, I don't upgrade to Genomax chicken flavor. Oh yato, adu Thanks for staying with us. We're still with Aproko Doctor. He's actually Doctor Ejemba. But this is how you know him, and you're giving us the backstory of how you started. And I love the fact that you said you also wanted to sound like them yeah. until you came back and sounded like us. <laughs> so I was using a small phone mm. to make the video. Videos were not clear, mm -hmm. right? And I moved to Twitter, you know, trying to make this post. But one thing was I was consistent. This has been on since 2015. Yes. Wow. We're in 2022, and that's seven years of consistency. Wow. wow. That's a good the point. problem is a lot of young people want first, first, first. the glam, the want the recognition, they want it now. now. Mm. Mm. And if they don't get in now, they are frustrated. Mm. Mm. And they think, ah, this is not for me, I just move on to it's something else. Been. But 
there's something called grit. There's something called staying power. Mm. Because it's in the process of... There are some people that come to my page or they're just hearing about me for the first time. And before you know what's happening, they've watched 70 or 80 videos. Mm-hmm. At, at a go. At a go. Mm. And that's because you have enough content. Mm. But if you, if you don't have that staying power, you keep trying your hands at different things mm. because you want to blow in one year. No, life does not work that way. Oh, wow. Just because... Wow, it has been glamorized on social media. Mm. Now people see this. They don't see the backstory. Yes. Mm. They don't see the trials that come with it. They don't see the rejections that happen. Mm. I have people tell me, even, even till now, on my way here, I was hearing a story about someone who was supposedly, supposedly high placed in society mm-hmm. who went about, you know, saying, yeah, this person wastes his time on social media. This person is not doing a serious job. Mm. But Till now. But I would have felt bad, but I was like, I've partnered with CDC. Mm. I've partnered with the World Health, the World Health Organization. Mm. I've partnered with IPPFA Africa. Mm. I've partnered with name it. And yet you're not serious. And yet I'm not serious. Mm. The, 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 the lives you are saving. The, the lives you are saving with your content. You get. You can't even number it. You get. But you're a doctor. You're not wearing lab coat. How can you be serious? <laughs> so, um, mm-hmm. young people out there, you know, those watching the shows, I think I should talk directly to you. Mm. Mm. Good things take time. Mm. Thank you. And you need to believe strongly in what you're doing mm-hmm. and give it time to grow. Mm. It's always about money. You know, um, mm. talking about being indigenous, I'm just beginning to realize that the stories we're told growing up is beginning to change. We're told that you have to speak a certain way, act a certain way. This one was giving me just of etiquette class, how you eat a certain way. And I said, it's not for me. The life I'm living right now, I will not do that. I will eat the way I want to eat. And it it formed the better part of our eyes. But now, people are seeing that even the people you are trying to etiquette for are coming here for the originality that you have. Mm -hmm. I've heard how they, you know, give movies on Netflix and everything. They want to partner with people who give them indigenous stories. There are a lot of movies on Netflix that are in their local languages. They just have the subtitle Mm -hmm. because they are going indigenous. How do you advise someone who, maybe a young person who is looking to do skits and everything on how to find something that you're good at in your own, um, would I say language now, or your own locality and harness it. Instead of trying to be a certain way, act a certain way, speak a certain way, have a certain accent. You get, yeah. That. So when we're growing up, the popular songs were important songs. Yeah. Now we have people like CK. Mm-hmm. Yes, sir. With his songs worldwide. Mm-hmm. We have Burner Boy, we have the rest of them. And Afrobeats is beginning to take center stage in the world. You have three star, four star hotels playing Afrobeats in their lobby. Yes. It yeah. never used to happen. Mm-hmm. And it's, it's only proof that if you own yourself, other people would accept Just. you. Mm. Mm. Really? Own yourself. You, get, you need to own yourself. You need to be proud of your story. Sometimes when I tell people my story, initially people think, ah, this one went, went to school abroad, you know, did one or two things. My name when I was in school was actually Bobby because I never behaved like the actual person. I grew up in Sri Lanka, Aguda. Mm. For real? Yes. Really? I saw Pap and Ogi. Is he alive? I'm serious. Please tell the story. <laughs> I saw Pap and Ogi by the roadside. Wow. Hmm. The reason I love books so much was because that was, I could only sit by the junction doing nothing. Mm. And so books were my escape from mm. that place. Mm. Right? So it. tell your story. Own it. There mm. are people out there who are looking for stories. Yeah. And if you can tell your story, but the, but the most important thing is you need to be sure that there are people who can resonate and relate with that story. Mm. Because it's only when people Find relate to it, yes. So if you find your tribe and, you know, talk to your tribe, people now start hustling to be part of that tribe. On a normal day on Instagram, I don't sound this way. <laughs> of course. Yeah. Of course not. <laughs> I don't sound this way. Yeah. If you listen to me on Instagram, the first thing that occurs to you is this guy doesn't know how to speak English. Mm-hmm. Because sometimes I jump talk mm-hmm. some things. But it's deliberate. <laughs> to, to break through the mind. Yes. Finding your tribe. Because that is my tribe. That's the people I'm trying to reach. My mom is going to throw in a question. <laughs> yes, I just would like again for us to talk about some of the issues that you you know, that you talk about, what would you say 
is something that is serious that Nigerians do pay attention to health-wise, oh, medical-wise. What is it that is so serious you wish Nigerians were more aware of it and did better? Mm. Mental health. Yes, mm. mental health. Mm. Mental health. Mm. And that's one of the reasons why we've not really given it so much, um, I don't want to say attention, but we've not given it so much spotlight yet. Okay. Please, the word is yet. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the reason being, that style of content may not be well suited for mental health topics. Mm. Oh. Because it may look like you're trying to... It will, it, yes. It, it may look like you're trying to mock the mental experience. health issues. Mm. So, that, the long YouTube format is well suited for it. Oh, and okay. it's, we, we are already producing it. Mm -hmm. Because the idea is, we're going to speak, or we're going to hear from people from their own point of view. Mm. So, in doing that, we help create a community of people who live with the same condition. Mm. We're able to break the stigma. Mm. And that way, you know, people start talking about it. Because I feel that mental health is ignored a oh, lot. There's a lot of stigma. You know, there's a lot of stigma associated with it. We just assume... Once I say I have a mental health problem, I just want to decrease. Mm, yeah, but, ah. it. mm. but this person is just lazy. Mm. Recently, they talked about a, a very popular actress who they said she had a mental breakdown. Mm -hmm. She got mad. Nigerians went with it. You need to mm -hmm. see the comments. Mm. They went with it. So if somebody else has, go be at your risk to declare. Yes. But it's better to share. I wanted to build on this that you are doing and see how much you partner certain other charities for instance you have a huge platform and so you have other causes that other people do would you support a friend who has a cause that you know you think let me use my platform to help would you do that amongst yeah, your friends sure so for non-governmental organizations or non-profits mm -hmm. it is also important that you're solving an actual problem mm. Mm. yeah for me and <clears throat> sometimes i think it helps if i'm able to I don't want to say connect or, you know, if I'm able to em em empathize with what you're mm -hmm. going through. For example, I've been to the Dorian Germanze Foundation and what she does is help people who are victims of gender, yes. gender based abuse. Mm -hmm. You know, people who have, you know, probably gotten pregnant by their fathers. It, it, it's, it's, Deep. when I listened to their stories, you connected. I was, I was mad, angry, sad. I know. Like, there was just this wave of emotions going up in me. I was looking for somebody to beat, but at the same time, I was like, you're not a violent person. Mm. It, it, was, it was just so much. Now, partnering with that kind of organization, for me, is a yes. Mm. I'm going to help push the stories, right? If you're trying to help, you know, um, um, cervical health, you know, probably, um, probably stem the cause of cervical cancer. Of course, definitely. It doesn't have to be, quote unquote, well paid for. Mm. So, uh, honestly, we've had an amazing, amazing interview with you. Yes, I, we have. We all love what you're doing mm -hmm. on this table. We support good works. We support legitimate success. We support stories of Nigerians um, doing good because, you know, the negatives thrive. Mm. But Real you stories. are someone we really, really um, celebrate and we're grateful to give you this. Thank you. And let more people connect with you. So if you don't know Afroko, <laughs> where you. have you been? Are you under <laughs> the <laughs> rock? Like, get connected <laughs> with this person. Thank you so much for being on the show. Thank you for sharing Thank your authentic you. story with us. We will definitely... We'll definitely bring you back. Congratulations uh -huh. on your... We were late to hear about it. All of us were heartbroken because we are arranging. We were matching you with our what, nieces. Somebody and around. <laughs> just, <laughs> just broke our hearts. You so wanted to call you. you. Let me just give you... Just a, what would be your final word to anybody watching right now? What would, what would be your pattern statement? Um, Straight to the comments. So my pattern statement is this. Your real address is actually your body. Mm. And that is the only thing you can actually take care of. Please... Fits it like gold. Mm. Sweet. <laughs> we'll take a Thank big you. break. When we return, we'll continue with the show talking about um, some challenges that have been happening in Nigeria. We have someone that you would all want to talk to. I'll keep you in suspense. If we come back, you will know more details. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back. Ladies and gentlemen, Make welcome Pioneer Positive Force member, dancing queen of the 80s, non-conformist, Afrobeat historian in her right, and long-standing member of the multiple award-winning all-female show, Your View, Omoyeni 
Yeni and Ikula Kuti, aka Yay! YK Power. Ginger. Yeah, take it, take it, take it. Yeah, today, yeah, ginger, yeah, ginger, today we we'll go here. Hey, hmm. I don't read you. Are you sure? Huh. Hmm. I know. I'm not here to answer questions. I'm here to drink. <laughs> We're in trouble today. <laughs> ah, wait. Wait till your age. I was close now. Eh? He said 1975. He said 75. Fellas, I wasn't even born till 75. Damn. So, will I drink out? Eh? You go drink out. Oh. Take, take, take. Make I go, make I help you. Rush and rush and rush and. No, be half. Eh? Which half? <laughs> you will make me drink. <laughs> I'll give you a hint. <laughs> Light in, you know. Nepa, Nepa Road. Ah! <laughs> Nepa oh. Road. Nepa Road. In a <laughs> uh -uh. First of all, my brain cannot uh, memorize everything. A big black bug. A big black dog. Bug. A big black bug. Oh, sorry. A big. <laughs> <laughs> it all starts. Omo ah hey omi omo fella omi omo anikula pokuti. Oh no, can you kick it? It's by Elgin song, it's not by Elgin song. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the part of the show where I really have a lot of fun. Why? I am highly competitive. I'm not going to ask you regular questions with me. I'm not well. So <laughs> you're going to be as nuts as I am today, yes? Ready, ready, ready. Alrighty. Hey, sorry, sorry. Can you can you put it down here, please? King Dion versus Tony. Oh, thank you. See all the Lee Coco things you do. Do they make me? Oh no. Who said this? I want to wear Girl, I want to make you Okay, okay, okay. Oxlade in Kulosa. On a scale of one to ten, how much fun have you had on the show? 11, 10. 11? 10, yes. 11? Now we're going to terminate the show. Mm. Please. My producer, this is where we're cutting it. Cameraman, cut, cut it. Cut it. <laughs> don't cut. Okay, I'm just kidding. The hottest music videos. Check it out, check it out. Let's go. Top in the charts right here on the Max World Chart Show. Come closer. A little bit more. Perfect. I have exciting news for you. You asked for it and you got it. Your favorite breakfast show, Your View, will be going to two hours. We're going to have in-depth analysis of the newspaper review and more conversations on the hot topics. The ladies of Your View and I will be staring up our guests to get in-depth into all the various topics and you, our viewers, will have the opportunity to call in and share your views. After all, it's your view. Join us on Your View, 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. for a fantastic conversation. Don't miss it. Thanks for staying with us. So joining the conversation is an award-winning actress, voiceover artist, presenter, model, and filmmaker. She has been active for over eight years. Welcome with us, the beautiful, gorgeous Omo Wumi Dada in the building. And I saw her like, ah, 
She's just fine. <laughs> Good to have you on the show. Thank you so much for so having me. Before you me. came in, we were talking about this Jackpot culture, you know, the consequences, because yes, many people feel it's the right decision, especially because of their children. But we're talking about, we're counting the costs of this, and I was going to come to Waiki. Before I come to Waiki, let me go back to the premise that um, she talked about, the fact that those people who stay back should help in pushing the government to do the right thing. But I don't think that's even a bit too far. You know, somebody doesn't want to get involved in government. Somebody just a regular Nigerian. And I would even think that if a regular Nigerian just shows a child love, excessive love, and you raise the child well, even in this chaotic situation, where you raise a child, you give them your 100%, they get your 100%, the 100% that you not give them when you travel abroad, they get that 100%, and you still raise them in this society. Is it possible? You still get a wholesome child that go to a Nigerian yes. university and still can even travel abroad in their own time. Is that a possibility? Yes. Why is that not an option? Because you're talking about how we're defining success. Mm -hmm. Is it when you travel abroad? Or is it when you raise a wholesome child, even within this chaos, where she goes to school, and even if they are madness going to universities, but you're still having a child who is responsible enough to be an entrepreneur. Do you think that's a better option? Let me come to Waike. Your thoughts on this Japa, um, the culture, and the costs, especially. The, I need to say there are two sides to the coin there is going to school abroad and then there is jackma mm -hmm. there are two different mm -hmm. things absolutely so i my daughter went to school abroad i and then decided to jackma after or just stay there or just stay there mm -hmm. whichever way you put it but i remember when because i had wanted to send her, her father wanted to her to attend the university here and she was like, no, she doesn't. And she was really adamant about it. I, because I hadn't thought of her going to school abroad. or So I, I now said, ah, okay, if that's what she wants, I'm going to do it. I'm going to make sure she does it. So she gets... And I, there's this um, lady, she's been with, working with us for about 26 years. And she, MM, I'm sure you all know, you've yeah. been to house, you all know MM. MM came to me and said, auntie... No literary school here. Mm. I said, ah, why? She said, ah, see university. See, she now, I can't remember who she mentioned. Yes. It's still there for university after how many years? Mm. So I, ah, that was, was another it. point. So if people decide to send their kids to university because abroad, because the university system, which was excellent before, yeah. does not work here, mm. it's understandable. Yeah. It is understandable. Now, if now the government does not make you staying here conducive, so our young minds mm. are leaving, then we, do, we need to point the finger mm. in the right direction. Mm. Not me. Because every human being is, I think, thinking of number one. And number one is me. Mm. Mm. So if I think I'm going to have a better life out there, which to me I don't think so because I never decided to mm. leave Nigeria, mm. They, it's their right. right. But it, we need to make the... Our government needs to make mm. governments... I didn't say government. I'm not pointing at any particular government. I'm just saying successive governments. Yeah. They should make this country mm. work. Work for people mm. who want to stay. Right. I, look, I went three weeks... I mean, three weeks in England for me. It's no holiday because I'm staying with my grandchildren. Right. And I'm looking after them. Mm. When I come home, I can relax. But when I come home, back, 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 my door. Ah, this, 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 this. There are problems. The problems are some. They, they, they are. I'm telling you. You just yeah, and then you just want to just scream. Yeah. Michael, let me pause you for a second because I don't want us to fall into the trap of talking about the problems because we know the problems. Everybody yeah, here possibly. knows our schools are bad. Mm. Government hasn't done anything. Oh. We know that one. Mm. We're talking about the cost of the decision. Looking at it, okay, government is bad. The school is bad. Now, if I go abroad, would I see my child? Would I miss my family? Is it enough? Is it, is it enough to pay? Am I, I, am I want really, to hear YK on I, that. No, so I want to. So I want to. I'll come to you and I'll come to you. I want YK to think about the answer. Then mm. I'll come back to you. I, I, I yeah. know the answer okay. because my, my child oh. is abroad. Yes. So I, I have to. It's expensive for me because if I want to see my child, yeah. I, it's expensive, expensive for yeah. me to go and see her. It's. It's. I want to hold and hug my my grandchildren. I can't do it. Yes. As often. As often as I would like. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They won't come home for Christmas. I will not see them. Mm. Oh. Yeah, yeah. I won't see them. So it's expensive in that regard. Um, 
uh, it's expensive for me not to be able to see them yeah. and spiritually yes. expensive okay. but for them for my daughter if it's the way she has chosen her life please yeah. okay let me come to you um um among me on this matter what are your thoughts um on this issue of jackpot so we all agreed that it's everybody's right to jackpot nobody's objecting to that but our call our conversation really is the cost of it if i if i evaluate the cost is it more beneficial for me to jackpot or is it rather do i redefine what success is where i raise my kids in love raise them right and still have a wholesome child in nigeria regardless of all the situations and then still be successful what, what, what okay so the first thing i wanted to say is that everyone has the right to choice of course whether whether we like it or not you will we will all make whatever choices we feel is best for us but the truth is whatever choice we make has a positive side and the adverse effect mm -hmm. So when you make that decision, you have to be ready. You have to have thought it through because it would have its good side. It would have its bad side. And the truth is people definitely can stay in Nigeria and believe in Nigeria and hit all the rocks that will come with being in Nigeria and still be successful. Some people will jack back quote and unquote and still not live that fulfilled life. We've had, a, we've had quite a number of people who have jack bad and then they realized that the opportunity for their careers or for their lives or for their vision mm. is actually here in Nigeria. Mm. Mm. Now, for the children, um, regardless of whatever society that you're in, love is, is the most important. I always say that to change the world, to change the society, starts from the family. Mm. It starts with individuals. So um, it's that when you jackpot mm. and your children are out there, Please make sure, make it a point of duty that they do not forget who they originally are. Mm -hmm. I have aunties who their first, their children, their children literally are born in America and whatnot. But if you tell the children while they are small, before they start attending um, the schools there, if you tell them, come, they don't know what come is. Mm -hmm. If you tell them, wa, they come to you. Okay. If you tell them, wa, ba. My law, they, un they understand Yoruba, for example, mm. but they don't understand English until they get to school. Mm. So it's a point. Deliberate. They are very, very deliberate and they are very, very intentional. Abroad? Yes, abroad. Oh, yes. But uh, nothing good let comes me, easy. Let me, let me, let me, My friend only speaks Yoruba to her daughter, mm. but her daughter, her daughter understands, but she can't speak. Mm. But she understands everything you everything. say in Yoruba. Even abroad. She did say that she's lived there. She's never lived here. Yeah. No, I didn't, I, didn't, I didn't realize how emotional this topic will be for me because when we're talking about it i was just thinking it casually but as, as you're talking and everybody's talking i'm just thinking back to my own background and even yesterday when i was speaking about it, i was raising this issue i didn't grow up with my brothers and it was a very difficult thing for me as a child because you know it wasn't to say oh all my brothers traveled before i was born i mean they, when i was like about three four years old they, they all left the country so I always heard about my brothers. Oh, everybody will come and tell you, oh, your brother in New York, he did it, I was in the UK, in the UK did all these fantastic stories. I never met them. Mm, wow. I met them for the first time when I was 15, when I traveled. Wow. And during that period in Nigeria, I knew that I had brothers abroad. It was a painful thing. I never appreciated or even recognized the pain until mm. new rest recently because I felt abandoned. Mm. I felt like when, when, when I was being bullied, when I was being harassed, I, when, there for I, you. I felt that nobody was there to fight for me. Mm. But I have brothers. Mm. You know, there will be times where you have, it's whereby you feel like there's so much to defend you. Mm. And when I, when I had people who were talking to me anyhow, I just thought my brothers were around. Mm. It was just me. Mm. So, I understand that. But it's so, also possible that your brothers will not be the fighting ones. No. Yeah. Yeah. My brothers, I have three brothers. <laughs> yeah. They are the peacemakers. <laughs> so you might think, what I, what I, growing up, what I wished I had was a sister. Mm. Mm. You know, and I, I, I felt like I really needed a sister. Mm. There were some mistakes that I had made in my life that it was possible that if I had a sister, yeah. I would not have made, made that mistake. mistake. So yeah, it's two ways. Yeah. Your brothers right. might not have been the fighting ones, you, you but they might but also I, be I, there for you to have was, conversations. That was the cost I want us to focus on. Yeah. Yeah. Not the bad, I, not why it happened in the first place, but, mm -hmm. but the, 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 the
you know, to everything. Yes, and, and cause yes, and effect. That, that's true. But do we acknowledge them? Mm -hmm. That's the thing. We don't even acknowledge them, and we don't know how it affects how we behave, our relationship, how we going, become the adults. With yes, them. going forward. And there's something also that struck me was my brother-in-law who who's always lived in who's lived in America many years, and then he would come home, and he would say to me, "See." There are problems everywhere in Nigeria, mm. the Nigerian problems, America, the American problems. But he says that there's this sense of identity where you know that you're home. You know, for us, we just concentrate on, oh, now I'm abroad, I'm making, I'm earning dollars, blah, blah, blah. But then you don't feel like you belong. No. And that sense of identity can be so strong. When you're home, anywhere, he says, anywhere he finds himself in Lagos, he just knows that anyhow, shall we get home? Mm -hmm. I'm in my house, these are my people. <laughs> but maybe you don't have that feeling. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so, that. what sort of adult uh, do you become? when you don't feel like you belong somewhere. And what sort of children do you even raise? So when you're dealing with someone that has many sensitivities or lack of confidence and you're wondering why, do you understand? These are the things. And whether we like it or not, we're talking about a family person. We look out for ourselves. But we all make up a society. We all make up a country. And then here we are with all our different traumatic experiences that we have refused to acknowledge and work upon. And then we have a country that we're raising children in. And, you know, Nigeria's abroad. I mean, I find Nigerians abroad identify 100% with Nigeria. Of Most of them, they are working to come back. Even if it is for a holiday, you see Nigerians, yeah. they, will, yeah, they, they, they all identify. Mm -hmm. They identify, identify with Nigeria more than the Nigerians who are here. Because the Nigerians yeah. who are here are just saying, yeah. man, yeah. Man, yeah. Let, let me Japan. just buy that visa. And <laughs> mm -hmm. You know, so they identify. So I, I think what has to be done is to educate the ones here that it's not always brighter on the other side yeah. and give even the, and when the ones that are there come back we are always very cold to them mm. we are always uh, they, they are, you, are, you have dollar now yeah, so we, we now start to as... want to help them spend their dollars <laughs> you know so i think it's just we have mm. a identity crisis and there i is here i will agree with um Mariah when she says nollywood don't uh, at, uh, give the, the, Reject. the true picture. Yes. They, they give you that picture of ah, when you go abroad, when you come back, you will buy a car, yeah. you will do this, you will do that. Yeah. They give you that picture. <laughs> yeah. The Nollywood yeah. in the house is yes. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you blaming <laughs> us? <laughs> what, what did we do? <laughs> that's, that's the only place where I will agree mm. with Murayo. So, so let, let's, let's, let's go back to the cost. You see, you, there, there are, there are different generations relocating. Mm. Hmm. You cannot compare the relocating of 10 years ago with the relocating of today. The average child that is relocating, I, a lot of kids in my school have relocated. Yeah. My kids say it at the time, oh, my friend, now my friend is now in Canada. My friend, he said, I'm going to, to yeah, so they're going to the UK. And these children are not even closely identified with Nigeria. These children are already American in their head because Before they've consumed they even, mm. from birth till 10, till 9, till 5. In all American they have consumed content. is America, YouTube, cartoons. So they are already there. You're they right. have arrived there. But when they get and the reality they shocks them that they are not one of them. Yes. So what we do, what people are realizing in the current Jackpot system is that you are taking your children who feel American or feel British and they're landing in Britain and right. realizing that they are not they are Britain not so because they notice, they look at you like you are not here. You are not here. Even the accent you thought and was American you, is not. You see, you sound familiar. You are not. And they will say, come again, come again, come again. So, and nobody is talking to those children right now. Mm. A lot of our people have relocated and they're not asking their child, how are they feeling in class? Mm. Because they suddenly find themselves the brightest in Nigeria. They're still shining bright, but everybody's looking at you like, yeah, you, you know too much. And there is a clash. And sometimes they dumb down mm. in order to blend. To so, the conversation now is beyond your personal desire to yeah. become financially satisfied oh, and to blend in with the world. It is to ask yourself, am I, am I going to raise children that would be happy where they are? I know people that have gone there with their children and come back with their children because they saw what their children were turning into. Suddenly the girl wants to die a hair purple. The girl wants to face her nose. They bring the like, children and they go back. They leave the children and go so, back. It's, it's about Way looking at all the options, options, truly analyzing it. Don't gloss over the stories. Don't don't sugarcoat it. Mm. Look at the reality of what will happen if I go. 
how will my children be? And Can I afford suffer. to go and visit and them? To you, there is another category of those that send their children for university abroad. Mm. Who will never see their children again throughout that four years? Or how will your child turn out? No mm. supervision. You leave your child in a place where he is not he doesn't understand the culture, he doesn't speak their language, and is being given peanuts to to yeah. take care of himself on a daily basis. And they expecting that he will just he will just turn out. There are two things I'd like you to touch on because um somebody was saying that. A middle class family here, somebody who's working hard and trying to bring you know, put everything together, decides to jack up. Now, because you go to a new country trying to start over, you end up staying in a community that might not, not be so rich. You know, just to because you're starting out. When you stay in a community that is not like a lower middle class society abroad, your child ends up going to their school. Yeah. A child that went to private school here that always had a certain level, you now bring it down, down into a community that is entering all these. People, the Agueros of the Americas, that's the kind of school he's entering. He can't go to a private school because you're just starting out. And then you force that child into that kind of system. And you are now having to hustle. You're working two jobs to meet up. And the child doesn't see you again. Are we counting the costs? Yeah. Mm. That's, that, that's, that's, that's where I'm going to. Mm. Secondly, there's something you said I wanted to touch on. But what of the children here that the parents don't get to see? Also. Because we are, we are not thinking, yes. we, are, we are thinking of Jack Ma. No, there are children here who their parents are working only one job. Yes. By the time they leave at four in the morning to get but to grandma, yeah. ma be home. Thank you. Grandma is home. Oh, home. home. Or oh, you can move to ah. jobs. Oh, yes. what, what <laughs> grandma yeah. so, so there's some time, so there, there are some options. Just yeah. there are options everywhere. It's, there are some where you are neighbor. Nima, Nima has neighbors. Yeah, what's that? Yala Olu. Yala Olu. Yala Olu. Yala Olu. Yala Olu. So I will, so I will, I will pile up with my neighbor because I trust that my neighbor will take off my child. This is Nigeria. You can't do that abroad. Now go and give your neighbor to who? And neighbor that is also on the clock. Yeah. On the clock. So the point is that counting the cost. Let me. I'll come to you. I want you to think about the results and the fact that many of this and that fact which I think is important for us to talk about. Nigerians are not jack buying. Well, I, let me, I, I stand to be corrected. Not because that the country is so bad and unbearable. Mm. These international, these, 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 comp, these, um, these countries, I invite, they've opened their doors. There was a time that this um, green card lottery thing was mm -hmm. in that, a lot of us were going there. Many Nigerians went through green card lottery. When the international, when, when a country opens their doors, Canada opened their doors for an objective. They need the workforce. Countries are so we are taking an opportunity. It's like, it's like anybody you hear that they're hiring somewhere. I will take an opportunity. Uh, but Murayo, Murayo, listen, you have to imbibe the culture of this place is good. You, you have to, you have to, you have to. That, that, there, I will again, I will blame government because if you don't tell your people how good your own place is, they will. You, if I come with my green card, I will want to go yeah. because I, I've heard that that place is the. the I, I remember the first time I went to London. I, I was like, uh -uh. where is where the, the gold, gold on the streets? Where is the gold? I know. I, I, was, I was shocked. Mm -hmm. yeah. I was looking at the houses. I was, mm -hmm. uh -uh. this place is not how I thought it would be. Stand up. Mommy, I said, you're not talking about I'll let you talk in a minute. Let me take this call and I'll come to your mommy. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back. They said my dress was too short. That the way I looked at him made him lose control. I said I didn't scream enough. That I didn't report any, so I, I must have enjoyed it. Can you, can you imagine? I said, what was I looking for around him? I said, I was all out for his money. I said, nobody marries rape victims, so I should shut up. I wish the police could undo my case with the sensitivity it's required. I wish girls and women were believed. I wish you believed me. My brother, my sister, do you know that winning an election is not only about getting the majority vote? For that your candidate to be declared winner of the election, he or she must secure 25% of the vote in two-thirds of all states plus the FCT to be president, and 25% of the vote in two-thirds of all local governments of a state to be governor. This is constitutional, and every presidential candidate has had to pass this threshold. 
even governors have had to make this mark to get elected in their states. We live in one country with different languages, religions, and ethnic groups. This is why it is not enough to have only northern votes, or southern votes, or eastern votes, or western votes. The only way to get elected as president or governor is by gaining enough support across the country and states. Let us make sure that we know now so that we don't cause an issue tomorrow. This message is brought to you by the Center for Democracy and Development, CDD, with support from the Foreign, Commonwealth and Development Office, FCDO. Yay! Special time! The new Fresh Show! You're not driving? I prefer to walk these days. Since when? Auntie Blessing, I scored two goals yesterday. You? Hot potato? Playing football now? Since when? Cynthia's slow motion daughter dancing. Since when? Cynthia, is everything okay? Your husband now prefers walking instead of driving. Your son is playing football and your daughter is dancing energetically. Since when? Since we started enjoying the new Freshio drinking yogurt. New Freshio? Yes, new Freshio. A good source of vitamins A, B6, B12, D and zinc that keeps you active and refreshed. Listen, you, jogging, since when? New Freshio, nutritious goodness every day. Where are you bringing that to? What's that? Look! Uh, 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 do you even know how it was produced? Madam, we know things are hard. But it is our people that say health is wealth. Don't compromise on quality. JD! Oh, I know there's a reason why we are friends. <laughs> Use Power Oil. It is triple filtered. It contains omega 6 and omega 9. It's satisfied with vitamin A. Plus, it comes in different packs and sizes, so you can afford it without breaking the bowel. I'll play me in this game of wits and knowledge. Can you go seven rounds without flinching? I meant answering seven questions correctly. How well can you hold your liquor? If you're curious, then join us for the most exciting conversation and games with your favorite celebrities on 7 of 7. Hmm. So, have you ever wondered what happens behind the curtains of a man's mind? Or perhaps you're one of those who wonder what men talk about when they gather. Well, here goes. Imagine what it takes to put together the perfect cocktail. Or maybe mocktail. We need a bit of sports, a sprinkling of current affairs, some very deep topical issues and last but not the least a healthy dose of grumbling of those we love to hate and yes you guessed it women so if you catch the drift then you're on to something we will provide you with the right insights into most of your curiosities right here within this beautiful cocktail we call the Black Table. Hmm. So, have you ever wondered what happens behind the curtains of a man's mind? 
Or perhaps you're one of those who wonder what men talk about when they gather. Well, here goes. Imagine what it takes to put together the perfect cocktail. Or maybe mocktail. We need a bit of sports, a sprinkling of current affairs, some very deep topical issues, and last but not the least, a healthy dose of grumbling of those we love to hate. And yes, you guessed it, women. So if you catch the drift, then you're on to something. We will provide you with the right insights into most of your curiosities right here within this beautiful cocktail we call the Black Table. Hmm. So, have you ever wondered what happens behind the curtains of a man's mind? Or perhaps you're one of those who wonder what men talk about when they gather. Well, here goes. Imagine what it takes to put together the perfect cocktail. Or maybe mocktail. We need a bit of sports, a sprinkling of current affairs, some very deep topical issues, and last but not the least, a healthy dose of grumbling of those we love to hate. And yes, you guessed it, women. So if you catch the drift, then you're onto something. We will provide you with the right insights into most of your curiosities right here within this beautiful cocktail we call the Black Table. Hmm. So, have you ever wondered what happens behind the curtains of a man's mind? Or perhaps you're one of those who wonder what men talk about when they gather. Well, here goes. Imagine what it takes to put together the perfect cocktail. Or maybe mocktail. We need a bit of sports, a sprinkling of current affairs, some very deep topical issues, and last but not the least, a healthy dose of grumbling of those we love to hate. And yes, you guessed it, women. So if you catch the drift, then you're onto something. We will provide you with the right insights into most of your curiosities right here within this beautiful cocktail we call the Black Table. Hmm. So, have you ever wondered what happens behind the curtains of a man's mind? Or perhaps you're one of those who wonder what men talk about when they gather. Well, here goes. Imagine what it takes to put together the perfect cocktail. Or maybe mocktail. We need a bit of sports, a sprinkling of current affairs, some very deep topical issues, and last but not the least, a healthy dose of grumbling of those we love to hate. And yes, you guessed it, women. So if you catch the drift, then you're onto something. We will provide you with the right insights into most of your curiosities right here within this beautiful cocktail we call the Black Table. Hmm. 
So, have you ever wondered what happens behind the curtains of a man's mind? Or perhaps you're one of those who wonder what men talk about when they gather. Well, here goes. Imagine what it takes to put together the perfect cocktail. Or maybe mocktail. We need a bit of sports, a sprinkling of current affairs, some very deep topical issues, and last but not the least, a healthy dose of grumbling of those we love to hate. And yes, you guessed it, women. So if you catch the drift, then you're onto something. We will provide you with the right insights into most of your curiosities right here within this beautiful cocktail we call the Black Table. Hmm. So, have you ever wondered? Better life. Now, today is more of security and better life. So, it's Japa Plus Plus we are in now. But it's a good thing. The positive thing I want to draw out from me is one, it saves the country a lot of money in bringing experts back to Nigeria. Now, it has more into our economic issue because it is our old Nigerians that have become an expert abroad that are coming to come and add value to our society one way or the other to form a better structure uh, with uh, and so of Nigeria. Okay, so that's a good part. So, but, but, but we've not done a good job in Nigeria to receive our experts, our Nigerian experts. And that's an economy. This is growing. the problem. When I keep on saying no, that, no, no. Look, Nigeria is the problem. Okay, we talk about the experts are we, really we, even Niger coming back. The issue that Nigeria is the problem is a non-issue. We know. We talk about it every day. We know. We're talking about the cost. So he is saying that there are Nigerian experts abroad. That can bring We, we can come back. But you see, we have to develop a structure to receive them. Even though they will come back. Okay. So I, I, I feel like it's we it's it's not we're not discussing Nigeria not working. Yes. We're not discussing everybody you are not if you're, you're not here with me when I the queue. My husband spent two hours trying to buy fuel yesterday. Uh -huh. We know that we know what the problems are. We're talking about the fact that is it is let's not let's not rub um let's not push Rob. on honey all over the solution that we think is over there because we must realize That's the fact that people. there is good and bad in every Everything. country, in every economy, we know in every system. And we must ask ourselves, why are we really doing what we're doing? Because if I know, if I understand why I'm doing what I'm doing, I can realize that maybe I don't really need to do it. Um, when Jakba culture or Jakba costs is huge in different structure, and we, when we're dealing with it one after the other, I'm not saying that what you've done is wrong, but saying, observe if you are missing something. Somebody is um, tackling me on social media saying that I'm saying children are not. I said, because we don't talk to children. I travel. I'm the auntie that came from Nigeria. Mm. I'm the one that gets to talk to your children more than you probably talk to your mm. children to know how your children are really coping in their schools. Mm -hmm. So when you listen to me, don't say you're a bad parent. Just go and meet your child and actually ask your child how your child is really coping. Because we don't know. Hmm. We don't know. And we should ask and be sure of the mental stability of our children. Many people, many children now are actually clinically depressed, but they're not diagnosed. Mm. And many of these schools are going the to put labels on them. Clinically depressed. They put labels on them here as well. Do we not have clinically then, depressed? And CNE, and CNE, and CNE is doing a very, very stressful but loving sacrifice. And I see it and I admire it and I feel like because you want to see your grandchildren, today, your children call you on FaceTime and you're like, they, they love their grandma. Uh, okay. And we're not talking wait, about that part. I, I, I have um, um, a, a, a relationship with someone who is in the diaspora and they can't have their, the, the person cannot go. And the, the grandparents want to see the children, but it can never happen. So we're talking about looking at everything and asking so yourself what you're doing, what you're doing. We have a part two because we have to come to her own interview very soon. Mm -hmm. But you see, there are various facts. There's a part of where husband goes, woman stays. Mm -hmm. And the marriage yeah. breaks up. Yeah. So, those, uh, hey, those are the words. So that so, those so, are the costs. So those are some of the costs. Where, where husband goes, wife goes, and husband stays. Like so many, or even, as I'm on grandparents, there are other factors. So yeah, yeah, yeah. we are thinking of what I, so, so I think. You see yourself twice in a year. On this conversation. Mm -hmm. Just like you said, let us count the cost properly yeah. before taking the because action. Because there are people who live in Nigeria. So I have, there's a lady I've told you before, one of my children's teachers. 
She wants to japa and I will support her japa plan mm -hmm. anyway because she's a fantastic, phenomenal teacher. She's having issues with getting her set of her stuff. She's tried. She has almost hit ground zero. She's doing everything to travel. If she has an opportunity, I will support her because she has to go. But there are some of us that have some kind of structure, you have something. That's who we are saying. Count the costs. Mm. Not say because all my friends are having children abroad. Means if you can find a wiggle your way in the system, oh, wiggle your way sorry, because your children need more of your love, your support, a, a community uh, raising them yes. in, a, in, a, in a structured home, and that will be more profitable to them. Now you uh, carry them to a system where they are not least. leaving your child to house girl yeah, and really, house boy. Yeah, Listen, yeah. because when we keep saying uh, the cost, the cost, the cost will come here. Yes. Because how many of us will go, we will say we are working, we will go from morning to night, but by the time we get home, our children are in bed, you will say, hey, the grandmother. It's not the grandmother they want. They want you, the mother. They want you, the father. That's yes. true. How many of us are there for our children? Yes. yes. When they are going, because we will say, hey, the, 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 abroad, here you go. Yes, so yeah, right. when you enter traffic, oh, yeah. you enter traffic, yeah. you come yeah. home at 12 midnight. Yeah. 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 Well, I think it's yeah. right, but we're also talking to the person that already has that really good structure okay. that is thinking the only way to show that she has succeeded is taking that child out yeah. of that structure so and put there to show that so, so we are talking to also those people so that you are okay, okay. I mean, you know when I mean, friends say you are okay where you are you are doing okay. fantastic what you are definitely my, well my, my account, we have to wrap up my at the end of the day be true to yeah. yourself yeah. Yes. that's the most yeah. important my account of in, in one of the banks young he looked he was even a guy like manager. He has that part. Mm -hmm. And was it? I was even su su surprised that you, that you look as if you are so, successful. So why can we, we, we just we have that is no, there's no, because that kind of person is Jack Wayne because he believes that my children need a better future. Mm -hmm. That's what we're trying to find. We know exactly that. because how would you ensure that your child will have a better future? Is it just the education mm. or the emotional structure and foundation they need? We'll talk about that. We have to come Yes. Yes. If I never like something like this, we'll hear from you wanted to say that Please. sometimes we do not know what people are struggling with, with individually mm -hmm. that they do not talk about exactly so we see them out there and we think they have the perfect life mm. but they really do not mm -hmm. okay so let's talk to you we've seen how you. are you we've seen all the <laughs> movies <laughs> all the all the performances tell us how is how how has it been let me just give because you've, you've done recently a lot of you there and it was fantastic yes. thank how you that? How, how was that how was it on the set oh. <laughs> Thank you. Alex Shoba was beautiful uh, from the moment I got the script. So um, the very first time I got in touch with that piece, that's the play written by Wally Shonka. I think I was in secondary school and I read it. And then I went ahead to study um, creative arts at the University of Lagos. Oh. So I read it many times. I critiqued it many times. Mm -hmm. I'd also performed it many times oh. on stage. <laughs> yes, yes. Oh. Uh, on stage. So when um, Emmy Moabudu called me, that she wanted to do the cinematic adaptation of it, I was like, wow, this is beautiful because I have never seen any cinematic adaptation of any Wally Shoinka's plays. Mm -hmm. And this one, particularly because um, this one was really special to us and a lot of, a lot of us who were part of the um, cast and crew because um, it's not just a fictional work. This is something that actually happened mm -hmm. in real life. Like, mm -hmm. Sometime in 1940, the Alafi of Oyo died, mm. and then this whole story happened to the Eleshioba. Wow. So now it was it was telling this story that is part of like our culture, mm. also showcasing um, the culture clash of what happened in the colonial era, mm. and also showing the evolution for me. Mm. For me, it shows the evolution of womanhood and the strength of the girl child then and now then the woman in the society had literally had no say okay. whatever it is the men want is what will happen yes, the yes. girl child had no say well, but now place. now we have a generation where you know as a child even as a baby mm, what you sense. want is important yeah. regardless yeah. of your gender so it shows that we have moved as a country yeah. we have moved as a people Absolutely. but we also need to um we also need to not forget our culture our tradition That's and um our identity uh, but it's I, a few weeks ago uh, I mean, a few days ago we we're discussing uh, my children um, women womanhood and i was like we've come along oh, we, yes. we should be you know we should be proud, proud of, of ourselves. ourselves um i love 
I love your I, I love your roles. I love what you've done. It, what what God has helped you to it's achieve fantastic. in this industry. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank As you in, so even when you have you're not saying much, but you embody that ah. that that character so well. And I want to just dig deep into it a bit. So uh, before we came on air, you were saying I was like, "You're black. It's good to see everybody beauty on on, <laughs> on our <Nigeria>. screen." <laughs> How was it starting? And what was the challenge? What was the prevalence <laughs> at that time? Mm. I, I'm not. I'm not even going to lie. It was hard. Mm. It was. It was a struggle. But one thing that kept me going was the fact that I knew for a fact that I was going to be successful. Mm. I was very certain of my talent and of the person that I was. And I'm so grateful that God gave me a family that also supported me. Right from when I was very young, I used to tell my brother stories. I used to dance. I was in primary school. I was in uh, Igbo cultural troupe, mm -hmm. and I would dance with my brothers. <laughs> and in secondary school, I was in Yoruba cultural troupe. I thought I wanted to study law, and I think that I have it in me. But I think that I am more passionate about um, the art and my craft right now. Um, I studied creative arts. So right from when I was in Junilag from year two because we're quite lucky then that when you do your practicals in school our lecturers used to um, invite external producers and everything so my very first play which was more in 2006 i think my lecturer then tunji chotimiri invited like some external producers and my baza when i was in year two i was already doing plays in at Muson center but I'm one person that really liked to challenge myself. Like, I remember when I was in year two then, I was doing school work. I was doing a musical, which I was playing a 14-year-old um, St. Bernadette that had, um, like, a tiny voice, a 14-year-old girl, and she had to be singing in soprano. Like, all that I have said to you. And then in school, I was playing a role as a king. Oh, in wow. fact, we had Get like boys back yes, <laughs> yes. And in fact, we had like six strong guys in my class. But the, the the lecturer, sorry, not the lecturer. The director said he didn't want any of these people. That they were he wanted to challenge like other guys yeah. to come up and all that. And I said I could do it. And he said, wow. No, mommy, we're not talking about a regent here. We're talking about a king, male king. I said yes, I will do it. Wow. And so. it was so outside of school after classes. I'll rush outside for, for rehearsals. I'm, I'm the 14-year-old girl singing with soprano. Yeah. And then back to school, I'm the king yeah. talking with the male voice yeah. and all that. So it really stretched me. I remember when we were doing our theoretical exam and we had the performance outside of school. I literally took a bike from Unilag to Muson Center. That was the wow. first time in my life because I had to make my show. Wow. But guess what? That year was one of the best if I was five for zero, uh, <laughs> you finished uh, this. Yes. Oh, fantastic. And know, you know, people, someone is listening to you now. For me, what struck me was I believed in myself. I knew exactly that I knew I was going to make it. Mm -hmm. I was certain. And sometimes I feel that a lot of people just stop there. I believe in myself. And, mm -hmm. and then they don't you do, do the work. work. Mm -hmm. And you have so many people now wanting to be everything. I want to be a star today. I believe I'm going to be a star. And so carry themselves as stars. But there's no building blocks Content. of work. The, what would you advise a young person watching you today about realistic expectations of what it takes to get to where you are? First and first, you have to be true to yourself. Why? And ask a lot of whys. Why do you want to do this? Why do you want to be a star? Why, oh, sorry, why do you want to be an actor? <laughs> do you want to be an actor because you want to be a star and a celebrity just so people can know you? Do you want to be an actor because you think it's very lucrative? You see them on social media and they always look, um, they always slay. You think they have money. <laughs> they probably influence for uh, car companies and you think that, oh, they have like one billion cars. Why do you want to be an actor? Is it, do you, you have to ask yourself why. Mm. For me, it was that I wanted to tell stories. Mm. For me, it was that I wanted to change the narration about so many things. For me, it was that I knew that I had this talent inside of me and I wanted to bless pe people with my talent. In fact, I say that for me, acting is a ministry. Mm. Mm. I love it. So I'm not really, I'm not really, you can see me on the streets of Lagos tomorrow and people will tell you, I can take bike. I do. Yeah. 
I will, I will park my car when there is traffic and yeah. I will take bike to set That's because it. I cannot be late. Mm. Mm. And that is me. My work comes first. My family, my work, you know, and other things. Let me come also, to is this an engagement this. ring? Oh my god, I didn't see it. I saw it. Why are you going to announce it officially? That's the best question. Let us hear. Is that an engagement ring? Yeah, 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 just laughing. Look at her blushing. Yes, no. It's so pretty. Let me see. It's so cute. Oh my god. It's so beautiful. Tell us the engagement story. No! I've got to be an engagement ring. <laughs> it is, of course. The story I'm waiting for. I don't know what to say. I think you're blowing from inside. You have just 10 seconds left. She didn't know that. You're not going to use laughter. You will the 10 seconds. No, no. You're not using laughter to run away from this story. Just answer her question. I don't like to talk about my first <laughs> <laughs> so what we can induce yes is that yeah, there's, a big, there's a big rock is an induction, induction. <laughs> this is a deduction <laughs> that there's a rock on her finger we oh don't know if it God. is for a marriage or just for the she, she did not know that she will go to sit she has run away yeah. to yeah. 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 no problem it's all good guys but we have to hear from her we already that's know we already know you know you know what I have a few seconds there what are you working on what should we do is there anything else coming up soon oh yes um, so many other things are coming up soon. Also collaborating with people um, producing and making movies Good. as well. Yes. You know, I just, you. you know, I, I just, I think I like, I really like I like you. her. Thank yeah. you. And the reason I like you because one of the reasons why your view is so real and true is because we've stayed true to what we are. We're not there for the glam. We're there because we want to educate and we're keep people. So, and like when I see people who is, who is doing the job for the real reason, mm. I'm really inspired and well done. Yeah. And I hope somebody was really learned from you today. Yeah. Thank you. Fantastic book. And I would like to say something. Um, I started watching your view when I was much younger, literally when you guys started, and I think I was in school then. And um, I, I would say that, uh, please, if you see these ladies out there, give them their flowers because they have done a lot in making the society better with their craft. Aww, thank you. Also, um, for that young girl that is watching me right now, you can be whatever it is you want to be yeah. as long as you know that whatever it is you want to do is for the right reasons Let thank you then we have to go then you please like to keep working uh -huh. on becoming a better version of here. yourself yes. every day we have to end this show. look i think that you have arrived uh, am i allowed to, to ring, ring there yes 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 <laughs> you can end this have a good day we'll you see you tomorrow <laughs> 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 we have to bring you back no no oh you're back